journey and of course another kingdom thank you very much for coming and being part of this occasion united nations deputy secretary general dr amina mohammed who i learned is joining us virtually and of course united nations resident and humanitarian coordinator mr matthias shima thank you very much sir members of the diplomatic community that are here Videos civil servants and I'm the special senior assistant on the industrialization to the president of African Development Bank, Professor Oyibanji Oyibanji. It's online. Kai is here. Thank you very much, sir. All the delegates, investors, volunteers, management of Stalin Bank, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It gives me great pleasure to be part of this gathering, which is the second edition of the African Social Impact Summit 2.0 here in our great city of Lagos, where we are ensuring that innovation actually makes resilience. I also like to welcome representatives of the United Nations in Nigeria, and of course, Telling Moon Foundation, our diverse audience. I'm aware that some past African leaders will also be joining today or tomorrow and also international business and sustainable leaders, global social impact investors, diplomatic missions, captains of industries, policy makers, and representatives of public and private sector gathering here in Lagos, which is the cap commercial capital of our country and the new tech startup capital of Africa. As of last year, Lagos overtook Johannesburg and Nairobi as the capital, the uh, startup or tech startup in Africa. Your collective wisdom and experiences make this summit a beacon of hope for transformative actions. And one is truly thrilled for your presence here in Lagos. It is our hope that this event will seek to reshape Africa's impact solution and accelerate achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal (SDG). We therefore commend the efforts of the One Foundation, United Nations in Nigeria, and our esteemed partners within the private and public sector, and of course, the international development space for putting together this summit. Together, we can represent a powerful force for positive change, and it is through collaboration, partnership, that we can achieve a lot of things and overcome challenges and create lasting impact. The theme for this year's summit, Global Vision, Local Action, Repositioning the African Development Ecosystem for Sustainable Outcome, reflects a commitment to driving real change at the grassroots level. As we emerge from the shadows of COVID-19 pandemic, well, I'm not even sure, they are saying now that it's recording again, it is vital that we foster high-level discussions, share knowledge, and leverage our collective expertise to build a sustainable future for our state, Lagos, Nigeria, and of course, Africa. The objectives are both ambitious and are achievable in that it aims to establish a collaborative framework that ensures measurable achievement of the SDG across Africa, holding ourselves accountable and driving influence through advocacy. There has been various suggestions and various projections that Africa will be home to half of the world's poorest people by 2030. Now, the data is interesting, but it's a bit sad in the sense that 50% of the world's poorest people will live in Africa. Unfortunately, the data which I personally saw did not say the percentage as are today. So it's impossible to trace that trend and see how we can. But let's agree or assume that it is correct. We must therefore come together with a new spirit of collaboration, innovation, and determination to build a prosperous and sustainable Africa for all. Therefore, the private sector with its scale and sustainability and innovation must take a lead in driving this change. 
we must harness the strength of our multi-stakeholder partners and leverage enterprise-driven innovation to create impact ecosystems that foster inclusive growth and recovery. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the expected outcome of this summit 2.0 are far-reaching and can be transformative, which should therefore seek to build result-oriented global and regional partnership that will fast-track SDG implementation. One will expect that the outcome of this summit will bear actionable steps to address critical needs and mobilize investment that will drive the success of social enterprises and impact focus organizations.